And so what we're going to go through is a little story about how we can teach J.D. Edwards to collect data, make a smart decision, and then do something in the context of a vineyard. Now, what we see here uh, is a graphical representation of some historical data. The interesting thing here is this is not data that's contained in J.D. Edwards transaction tables. We're actually collecting data and storing it in a third-party database. We happen to use MySQL. Uh, then we're pulling that data in and graphing it in an external form. So this is a pretty cool demonstration of the power of J.D. Edwards to show both transactional data and external data. Now, unfortunately, we are not um, in the middle of a vineyard, so I will be using some simulators, right? But we've got the simulator, uh, which is detecting the, the mo moisture level in the soil, and we're going to pretend like we just registered a low moisture condition. Now, this IoT device, it's internet connected, so it just sent some data to JD Edwards um, and created this operation. Now, we've got some really good applications for grower management. And here we are in the um, uh, creating an irrigation operation. And you see, we have a bunch of historical irrigation operations that are already finished. But without doing anything, that was not me creating this, op uh, this operation. The IoT device in the field itself created this new irrigation operation, and we can see that it's active. Now, over time, we'll have a bunch of these sort of scheduled, queued up operations. And what we're going to do now is pretend like we have these on a scheduler, and once a day, twice a day, once an hour, whatever you decide, we're going to run this scheduler. And again, without human interaction, we can see that this operation has changed from active to actual. And what that means is when we're going to talk backwards from J.D. Edwards through the orchestrator to this irrigation system, and at this point we actually turn the sprinklers on. Do you feel like you're in church? <laughs> right. And so at this point... The uh, sprinkles will go on for some predetermined amount of time, and then the irrigation system will send another orchestration back to J.D. Edwards, indicating that the cycle is complete. Um, operations finished. We go back to look at our J.D. Edwards application, and again, we can see that that irrigation op operation itself has finished. So we've gone all the way through the process of a sprinkler de deciding that the irrigation s needed to turn on, uh, J.D. Edwards making a smart decision, and all of that data from the field in real time being um, updated into the J.D. Edwards application without human intervention. <laughs>